Let's review some basic facts about signed integer interpretation of a binary pattern. Well, when we say signed integer, that means we can represent negative values, zero and positive values. And technically speaking, we, we would say that zero is considered a positive value too. Let's consider an example binary pattern. And if you've already viewed the uh, earlier video on unsigned interpretation, you'll recognize that I'm using the same exact binary pattern. Now the weights begin uh, with our radix raised to the zero power, and then we work our way up. So LSB is indicating least significant bit starting on the right side. Everything is the same as, as we did for unsigned integers, except the difference now is that in addition to being the MSB weight of two to the seventh, it also has a negative value associated with it. So the largest weight is also a negative value. So it turns out the MSB doubles as a weight and the sign bit. So when that MSB is one, we know that we're looking at a negative value. So I'll go ahead and write out all of the weights. Again, uh, most of them are positive. The largest one is negative. So we know that any place where we see a one, we keep that weight. Any place where we see a zero, we discard that weight and then simply sum them together. So we have one minus 128 plus, and then a total of three positive weights, 64, four and two, those all sum together to the value 70. And when we add 70 to minus 128, we have the value minus 58, base 10. And again, we get a completely different value if we were to interpret that as an unsigned integer. That is, we wouldn't simply have positive 58. It's interesting to consider some specific values of interest, and I'll continue using the 8-bit example here. The value plus zero is represented by all the bits being zero. The value plus one occurs when we activate the LSB weight of two to the zero or one and then leave all of the other weights inactive. Negative one, uh, this is a naive assumption that is a, kind of a common error for people that are, are just getting started with this. The assumption is, oh, it's a negative value, so I'll write down a neg uh, or one for the MSB and then just write down how we would figure a one when written as an unsigned integer. Now again, we have to recall that this sign bit also carries the largest uh, absolute weight. So if you were to write this out, you actually have minus 127 altogether. Clearly we don't, this is not negative one. So instead we say, well, if we need to make a negative value, you have to put down the weight minus 128. But now we need to start choosing weights that will reduce the size of this negative number. So it looks like we would need the 64 and that has a positive weight contribution. Well, looks like we need a little more. Go ahead and add in the positive 32 weight. All right, still not home free. We're at minus 32 right now. And in fact, if you just add in all the remaining weights, that will in fact do the job. So we have minus 128 plus all of the other activated weights and that gives us negative one. And interestingly, negative one always looks like all bits are one regardless of the length of the binary pattern. Now, what's our maximum positive value? 
Well, if it's positive, that means we certainly don't want to activate our negative weight, but we do want to activate all of the positive weights. When written out as a decimal value, this is positive 127. Now in a general sense, we could calculate that as two to the n minus one, and then subtract one more. And this is where n is the number of bits in the binary pattern. Now our most negative value occurs when we activate the large negative weight, but then do not activate any of the remaining positive weights. And of course we know that that MSB has a weight of minus 128 base 10. In a general sense, we could write this as minus two raised to the n minus one power. It's also interesting to note here that we have a slight bit of asymmetry here. That is the uh, most positive and most negative values are not exactly the same in terms of absolute value.